where we're located is Mississippi Gulf Coast, about 100 yards from the beach. We like summery type weather, love the idea of being able to be outside, thought it would be a really good place to raise our kids. We have two boys, they're seven and nine. People down here are great. You know, a lot of preconceived notions from other parts of the country that uh, ooh, Mississippi, kind of backwards. Not the case. And it's a New Orleans playground. We have so many people that have weekend homes here. And building new homes, the last thing that people really think about, they never really think about heating and cooling. Everyone's focused on a kitchen and on their bathroom. No one thinks about where do we put the heating and cooling. And so it becomes a big challenge to hide these systems, yet make them operable. Got to be prepared for the heat and the humidity. As far as the mechanicals and HVAC, you know, whenever we're looking at a house, if it has older HVAC, that's a major concern because you're going to be running it most of the year. On the coast, you've got flood and wind to deal with, and then two, you've got the climate. So before we talk about anything else, we need to talk about how sturdy the house is and how we're going to temperature control it. This is the new 2023 Endeavor platform. We do have 50 field trial sites on this new M1 product, the Endeavor platform that have been running really for the last almost two years now. And this site was a special um, location for us because of its geography, the climate, and the application type. Even though I designed this house, it was with Midwest in mind, and I made mistakes. When we built the house, the first floor of the home sits 10 feet above the ground. So my house is 43 feet tall. Things had to be designed and built to hurricane standards to withstand up to 135 mile an hour winds. In retrospect, I would have done things a whole lot different. It was very costly to make constant repairs. Things that the climate was doing to the systems, you know, we could have taken care of that problem before it began. I knew we had two systems to try to keep it cool because it's always running. I mean, we turn the heat on probably once a year. So pretty much two to three times a season, you're going to have to have somebody come out for something because it's running all the time. Here on the Gulf Coast, you've got the salt air environment, you've got high humidity, you've got long run times, and it's fairly warm year round. So the equipment is running all the time. And it's also so close to the ocean that this house is built up on stilts. So it's a great application of the product here on this home is uh, we've got two units on a balcony, very space constrained. We wanted to up the efficiency, but size and footprint was a concern. So with the new Endeavor platform and the Bluetooth technology that we've got in the system, that's gonna allow the contractor to come out with his contractor app, connect to that equipment via Bluetooth from the ground level, take readings, diagnose the system, understand what's going on, to successfully get ready for that prepare when he does actually have to climb the ladder to get up to that piece of equipment. I think for most people, you turn a switch on, you want it to work. Is it something we think about on a daily basis? No, and that's good. Whether you know it's the new Endeavor system or something that's 10 years old, you, know, you don't want to have to think about your heating and cooling system every day. It's really been part of Reams' design philosophy for a long time. We're trying to gather as much data as we can with as many sensors as we can, transmit that back via laptop and Wi-Fi connection to our servers so that the team can pull daily reports and see how the equipment's running in real time. Ever since they put it in and got it installed, I it's worked. I keep it 69, 70, depending on what we're doing and how hot it is, and it works. <laughs>